somebody brought it up to me that Apollo had a twin sister, Artemis, and she was the goddess of the moon. And I, how perfect is that, that now we have this diverse astronaut corps where we can actually send the first woman to the moon mm -hmm. and name it after the twin sister of Apollo. What an amazing program. And so I've been trying to communicate as much as possible to as many people who will listen that we are now the Artemis generation. I was not alive when we landed on the moon the first time, or the second time, or the third time, or ever. Um, that generation, uh, all of the astronauts were selected from fighter pilots, they were selected um, from military test pilots, pilots. they're all military folks. And there were zero opportunities for women at the time. And of course, um, I've got an 11 year old daughter. I want her to have every opportunity to see herself as being able to do whatever she wants to do. If she wants to be an astronaut, I want her to see herself in that role. If she wants to be president of the United States, I want her to see herself in that role. And I think it, I thought it was important that uh, if, if we're going to announce that we're going to the moon and the, the administration is plussing up the NASA budget to achieve that goal, um, that, we, that we very clearly define that this is the Artemis generation, that uh, the astronauts today are not the same as the astronauts of the 1960s. Um, and that this, is, this time when we go to the moon, we're taking all of America with us. The week we announced the additional $1.6 billion for the year 2020, the week we announced it was the same week the House was marking up the Commerce Justice Science Appropriations Bill in the House. And so there were some narratives out there that since they didn't take our budget request and put it into that bill, that they're somehow against our, our effort. And I will tell you, based on conversations I've had with members in the House on both sides of the aisle, on the relevant committees, they're not against it at all. In fact, they, they like it. They're for it. If we end up in a CR, uh, it, it takes this off the table. We would hope that if the appropriations process goes forward, um, we will have the budget on the first day of the year, the first day of the fiscal year. And, I, and I've been in the House. I've seen how this works. If people like the program, but they don't like where it's being funded, where it's being funded from, they can they can they can do a lot of things. They can take it from another account. Um, every year I was in the House of Representatives, the House broke the budget caps every year. It wasn't like, should we do it? Should we not do it? It was, it's going to happen. So I, I'm not saying that it can or can't be done, or I'll, that or that it has to be come from Pell. That's a congressional. Absolutely issue. Yeah, that's the more uh, important I, issue is do they buy into the extra money right. and you think they do. I think they do. And I I think um, wherever the money comes from, uh, you know, we're going to follow the law. Uh, if we get the money, we're, we'll follow the law. <laughs>